Hi everyone, Tyler Manning here, NBC and IPB Pro League Vice President, and this will be your Mr. Olympia recap for the 212 division. And first, we're going to start off with Keon. Unbelievable physique, unbelievable look, unbelievable improvements from just last year. Basically, every one of his weaker points that he did have, he improved upon tremendously. Overall, all of his legs came up, quad, side leg, hamstrings from the back, incredible leg width and detail. His back itself, you saw, had more muscle than ever. You can see the density and the depth that he added there. The chest as well added a lot of tissue and also a lot of detail. So with his incredible shape overall and doing all these things, he was probably the most dominating competitor of the weekend. Going forward, I think he can still work on adding still more density to the back. You can see that it is newer muscle in that back double bicep pose. It doesn't have the same hardness that he displays in some of the other poses. He also can open up that back double bicep just a little bit more. He has insane width, and it's only going to make that pose even more impressive. So basically, you know, adding more to the back, he can still keep improving his chest. And really, I would say just do exactly what he did the past year again for another year because I think it will only make him even more impressive. So I don't think there's really anything else to say about him other than what an impressive physique. And, you know, maybe we will see him against some larger competitors, even though he only weighs, I think about 201 pounds. So he has plenty of room to grow. In second place, we have Sean. I think Sean just downsized a little bit too much. We see that he lost overall size, leg width from the front and from the back. His chest, which is one of the points that he needed to improve, also I think lost some muscle as well. And when standing next to someone as impressive as Keon, who added everything he did, and also the amount of space and the shape that he has that he takes up on stage, we really saw the size difference between the two. His conditioning was still very, very good. He was peeled. He was in great shape. You see that he still has that density and that dense muscle, but he needs to add the size back while still keeping the waist in check. That's basically it for Sean. He wants to get back to, I would say, his 2022 look where his waist was still in check and he was bursting full and much bigger. In third place, we had Angel. So Angel needs to improve, obviously, still with the arms. His waist, he needs to work on bringing in his waistline. Um, if you're going to compare Sean to Angel, you could see in the front double bicep, you see the taper and the size of Sean's waist and how his lats you know, come into the waist compared to Angel's. Angel is wide, but his waist is also wide as well. So that front double, that front lat spread the width of the waist kind of takes away some of the impressiveness of those poses, you know, from compared to Angel to Sean. Also, the arms come into play there as well. Sean has better arms and shoulders than Angel too. Then Angel also from the back, he has a strong back, but he can still use more thickness specifically in that back double bicep pose. He gets in amazing condition as he was here. But if you look at, you know, the hardness and the detail in his legs compared to what his back looks like in that back double, you can see he needs, you know, more of that denser and harder muscle back there. Overall, I think he's been very consistent over the last couple of years. And I'm sure, you know, he's going to take these critiques and work on improving them moving forward. In fourth place, we had Kareth. I think Kareth just needs, you know, to bring in the same condition that we see with the three guys that are ahead of him. I think that would definitely be the number one thing that he needs to work on. The second thing would be he was having a little bit of trouble controlling his stomach the whole entire time on stage. Obviously, he needs to get that correct because... You know, even though Angel has a wider waist, he has detail to that midsection. Kareth also could use better detail to his midsection, specifically with, you know, how the abs are looking, the separation to the abs, and the overall conditioning to his midsection. I would say the final thing that uh, Kareth can work on is just still adding a little bit more of uh, that dense muscle and depth to his back, specifically in the back double bicep pose. I think it's definitely improved over the years, but it could still be just a little bit better. Even if Kareth can just come in better condition, I feel like it's going to make his physique look a lot different as well. So, you know, he's not far off from those top three guys. In fifth place, we had Vitor from Brazil. Um, I think Vitor really came out of nowhere for me. I hadn't seen him since... I judged him at a pro qualifier, I think back in about 2018. So he had a great upper body, a lot of density and detail to the back, 
very good shape uh, and V taper and very solid arms and shoulders and chest as well. For Vitor, his main thing he needs to improve on is the overall size to his legs. He needs more development to the quads. He needs more leg width from the front and from the back. He needs more development to the hamstrings and more size to the side leg. If he can bring his legs up to be in balance with his upper body, this guy is going to be very dangerous in this division because his conditioning was great and he has a lot of very standout points in his physique. So I think he is right there to, you know, break through and maybe upset somebody that's been in the top four, you know, these past couple of years.